Hey guys, it's Bree and Walter, of course. <laughs> and welcome to my channel, Just Breezy. I wanted to give you guys an update because so many of you have asked in the comment section, um, how am I doing? What medication am I taking now? Any side effects? All of that good stuff. So let's just get right into it. Um, I am still taking Effexor, 75 milligrams a day. I believe this November will be two years give or take, but I'm pretty sure that's when I started taking. It was two years this November. Um, overall, for me, Effexor is a great fit. I know from the comments section that there's sort of two separate camps on this. There's those of you who have had similar experiences to my own, where Effexor has really helped you find relief from your anxiety and depression, and it works well with you. And then there are those of you who have experienced every side effect in the book from it, and it is just not the right medication for you. So for those of you who have had that experience, I just say to you, keep trying. Keep trying. Um, if it's not the first medication, it may not be the second, maybe it's the third, but if it's something that you really need, it's worth continuing to advocate and trial and error and have a great you know, communication and relationship with your doctor about that. Um, so like I said, Effexor has been a good, a good fit for me. As far as side effects, a lot of people, especially women, although I know some men, you know, may uh, have concerns about it too, but a lot of women are worried about weight gain. I will say that I have definitely gained a few pounds. I have, but I, I can't really tie it to the effects or because I have been terrible with my nutrition. I don't know if some of you go through this where it's either you're like you're all or nothing. Like I wake up one day and I'm like, let's drink the water, let's eat the kale, let's get on a good track, and I'm doing that and I'm feeling great, the best I've ever felt. And then the next day I just sabotage and I eat the bagels and the pizza and the sugar, and it's like and I spiral. I can't just have a little and that so that's sort of what I struggle with. So when I say weight gain, um Listen, I've always been just sort of a smaller build person, um, but like anybody, you know, I, I notice or you feel when your clothes fit differently or whatever it may be, but also we're human, right? So we're, we're gonna gain weight and our bodies are gonna change and look different. That's different than perhaps the weight gain from a medication. So the only thing I could really suggest to you is that when you start taking a new medication, and I've said this before, you need to track how your body is feeling and responding, at least in those first few weeks. Jot it down, and I'm not talking about a novel, guys. I'm just talking about at the end of the day, or if something pops up, you write a little statement about it, a little sentence, so that when you follow up with your doctor, you can open that up and say, hey, blah, 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 and read it off and have that feedback because a lot of times when it comes to medication, if you start to experience a side effect, um, oh, my head really hurt on Tuesday and I was really tired, that's the only thing sometimes that sticks out in our mind is the negative. Meanwhile, you could have had seven really good days, but that headache and tiredness sticks out. But if you're writing it down, you can kind of look back and say, oh, one day out of seven, whatever it may be. So any side effects, good, bad, you're just gonna write it down and then discuss that with your doctor. Um, I will say I fell into a little bit of a trap that I've discussed in the past and I've warned people about, and that is oftentimes when people start feeling good, they stop taking their medication. And it's sort of this thought of, I'm feeling good, I got this, I don't need this, but really it's the this that made you feel good and balanced. And for me, it wasn't so much a conscious decision of, I'm feeling good, I don't need this. For me, it was, okay, I'm feeling good, I got this, and I didn't make it a priority. You know, I, I stopped making my mental health a priority, is what I did. I'm just figuring that out now as I'm talking to you. Because I had a lot of stuff going on, like, so many people do, right? You're running around in 15 different directions. Whether you have kids or not, you just lead a busy lifestyle. Um, and then all of a sudden, your mental health stops becoming a priority because you're feeling good. And that's that's what I've done a few times where 
go, 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 go. I forget to take my medicine on a Monday. I don't take it on a Tuesday. And then by Tuesday night, I'm experiencing what some people call brain zaps. And it's these little, I know it sounds terrible, but it's these little like annoying um, zaps in your body, almost like you touched or, this is gonna sound weird, but when you were a kid, you ever put your tongue to a battery? And you go, Ooh. But that's sort of like what I experience in my body and it's like a withdrawal, withdrawal. One of those words, man, I can't say. Um, but it's be the prime, Amazon Prime is here. Nope, stop it. But it's because my body wasn't getting the medication. So I'm gonna wrap up here because it's really all I had to share about an update. Um, if you wanna leave a comment though, share with me what you've been experiencing. I would love to know. And thank you guys so much for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you, bye.